Premier Thomas Dalton paid a courtesy call on Vice President Nikki Iambo at the Old State House on Friday. Dalton congratulated Iambo on his new uh, position as Vice President of the country and highlighted some areas of cooperation between the two nations. He said the exporting of beef and beef products to the United States will soon be a reality. Iambo was very pleased to hear that the export of beef and beef products to the U.S. is being finalized, as he was the initiator of the agreement when he was the agriculture minister in the 1990s. The vice president also raised his concern about Namibia being classified as a middle-income country, but was pleased with the United States' assistance in the fields of education, environment, through the $3 billion Namibian dollars Millennium Challenge Account MCA funding over four years that came to an end last September. Dalton said although most of the funds were spent in the northern part of Namibia, they mitigated a lot of development challenges Namibia faced. Right now there aren't products that are being manufactured here that can benefit. But uh, the process to get approval for beef, Namibian beef, to be reported into the United States has been moving along. And our understanding is that now uh, they are at the final phase of drafting the necessary regulations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Once the regulations are drafted, they'll then be published. And I, I'm confident, I think, within certainly within mm -hmm. the next year, with a little bit of luck, the approval will be finalized. And then Namibia will be the only country in Africa that has such approval. He also said he was pleased with the way Namibia had dealt with the land issue and was keen to find out how it would be dealt with a practical level. Iambo explained to him the modalities that will follow and the volunteerism shown by the youth to fast track the servicing of the 200,000 plots countrywide. Particularly on the railway from Chuma to Andangwa, mm. it was done basically by people voluntarily throughout the country. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. yeah. Yeah. Of course, there were companies that had some workers that are doing it, but we wanted it to be speeded up. So people organized region by region, local authority by local authority, traditional communities, mm -hmm. and we volunteered that the railway was finished. He also noted that many more areas needed to be explored to help Namibia become a developed country, especially in the field of energy, infrastructure, roads and the extension of the port of Wolfish Bay to make it the key entry point for imports to landlocked countries of SADC.